Locke is a fan favorite character from Final Fantasy VI and now you can call the treasure hunter an ally in War of the Visions JP. Locke has a ton of cool skills as you would expect, so let's take a closer look at them and I'll provide some analysis. Locke is a damage dealer and also an evade unit. While Locke is primarily a light slasher, he has the pugilist sub job for some striking potential as well. So today I'm going to talk about all of the brand new skills in his treasure hunter main job. And if you want to see the rest of his kit, well, you can go look it up on WarOfTheVisionsCalc.com. Chakram is a low AP move that also has a 43% attack break attached to it. However, with an EX job upgrade, it becomes a very very scary as it will also break physical barriers. Camouflage is a TP buff that's going to grant lock 40% attack and 25% to evasion rate. This will be an essential buff for lock if you are running him as evade and also if you aren't getting those attack and evade buffs elsewhere. AP Hunt is Locke's main AoE attack. It has a 165 times potency and will decrease the target's AP by 15 while giving Locke 15 AP back. Hitting multiple targets with an AP loss is pretty tantalizing. Dispel Dagger is another short range attack, this time with a 200 times mod. It has a dispel effect, which is very useful for stripping opponents' offenses and defenses. Adventurer's Wisdom is a 15% single target buff, which is no joke, especially if you're running a party full of evade units that want to live through a few holies and sharpshoots. Adventurer's Wisdom will also give you the uh, ability to reduce the reaction chance of your opponents by 50% for three turns, and that affects the people that get this buff. Phoenix Help is a very cool and thematic ability for Locke. It grants him both an AP restore but also a re-raise effect. This is going to be a must cast for each battle. On to the sub skills. First up is Ashadome, which will you will actually see Locke use on auto, partly because of the range, but really because he's out of AP and he has uh, his other buffs are active. So he'll use this TP debuff. He'll decrease a target CT and also has the chance to inflict slow on them. This is going to be a very strong PVE move, especially for raids. And I know we don't talk all about the other kits uh, on for Locke, but he does have a three hit drain rush from his Nightblade sub job. Confuse Edge is a pretty simple 165 times mod with a 25% base chance to confuse. It gives Locke a different AoE pattern to work with, but I'd rather see him use AP Hunt over this. Let's finish the video by talking about Locke's Limit Burst Sky Mirage Dive. As typical of Limit Bursts, it is an expensive skill at 43 AP, but remember, that cost is reduced by his Master Ability. This is one of Locke's longer range abilities and it will also be one of his strongest too. Aside from the 200 times modifier, Sky Mirage Dive also imperils Slash Resistance by 38%. This makes Locke useful in any Slash party. The skill also reduces Counter Chance by 100%, so don't don't worry about a tank damage reduction reaction or reflex. That's going to be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed the showcase of Locke's skills and I said this already in the Terra video but boy did Gumi do a good job with these animations. Locke's kit looks pretty interesting and I think that he's going to be a good unit when he arrives in global. Uh, even though he has a very short range kit, he has mobility, agility and evasion and that means he can get up and close and personal with your enemies and do some damage. So let me know in the comments below if you're excited for Locke or if you prefer Terra or Celas and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video as that would uh, really help me out. Otherwise, thanks for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.